Okay, in this video we're going to talk about algebraic structure. So algebraic structure is a collection of one or more sets that are operated on by one or more operations satisfying certain axioms. So I'm sure you've seen axioms before in math, mostly when you started algebra or calculus, and you started with some kind of uh, sets and structures, like the set of all real numbers, or the set of all imaginary numbers, or integers, and so on. And any of these are examples of algebraic structures. Uh, it's sets on which you can create these algebraic structures. So when we talk about algebraic structures, uh, like, what do I mean? Uh, here are some examples. Groups are algebraic structures, rings are algebraic structures, and fields are algebraic structures. So let's go ahead and talk about what each of these are. And a group is basically something we're going to present by having an we're going to write a group like S, comma, star. Now, S is some set, and star is some binary oper operator. For example, if S was the set of integers, then star could be a binary operator like addition or subtraction, multiplication, so on. So then what is under this uh, in a group under this uh, operator, it takes one member of the set, and you apply, you know, you cross it with another member of the set, and you get some member of the set back. And groups satisfy things like axioms like associativity and closure. And these are things you might have seen before, like closure, for example, means the fact that if you are taking, crossing two members of the set, you'll get one member of the set back. And so, you know, going back to the example of integers, um, we, we have one more specific kinds of groups too. So we have something called abelian groups. And an abelian group is a group in which the order of operations doesn't matter. So for example, if you take uh, two numbers and you add them, it doesn't matter which way you add them. You can do 2 plus 2, 2 plus 5, or you can 5 plus 2. You'll get 7 either way. And so an example of an abelian group would be integers under addition. Because you can reverse the order and apply the operator. Okay, so I hope you understand what I mean by a group and what is an abelian group, which is a specific kind of a group where you reverse operators. So next, let's talk about these. So a ring is a set S under two binary operations, addition and multiplication. And a ring under addition is an abelian group because you can take the um, operators and reverse them. So, f you, you know, examples are integers and polynomials. And a commutative ring is a ring in which the members satisfy the commutative law. So if you remember the commutative law, you can move the members around. So, Next, let's talk about fields. And a field is a structure. And, uh, and you know, these are all types of algebraic structures we're talking about. Uh, under which the operations of addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction are all performed. And so a field, by definition, is a specific type ring and it's a commutative ring. 
So I hope that uh, some sense of what are algebraic structures, their groups, rings, yields. And we'll be coming back to, you know, algebraic structures because they're very important to measure theory and uh, analysis of all kinds for functional analysis and so on. Uh, thank you. This was Aditya Mittal from acmetutor.com. And if you enjoyed this video and learned something about what is meant by an algebraic structure.